In this video, we will demonstrate Random Ride Accelerator. Random Ride Accelerator is enabled on per virtual disk basis. This feature is designed to absorb heavy random rate and to store them sequentially, thus improving I.O. handling and reducing latency. For this demonstration, we are using Intel-based servers with 8 gigs of RAM and fiber channel, both running Windows Server 2012 R2. For physical storage, we are using a standard 1 terabyte SATA disk. We created a 225 gigabyte single virtual disk and we have disabled data core write cache. We'll be running iometer with the following parameters. 4K random writes with 64 outstanding. Let us jump to the demo. For the purposes of this demo, I have installed the Sensefini V console portion of the software so we can easily monitor the virtual disk performance. Let's take a look at the Sensefini V configuration. Here we have data core pool. Let's take a look at the physical storage. This is our one terabyte SATA disk. From this pool, we have created a single virtual disk, 225 gigabytes in size. As you can see, we have disabled data core write caching on it. I'm going to switch over to the performance view where I've set up counters to match iometer parameters. Let's take a look at the disk mapped to this host. So here's our F drive. Let's take a look at the caching policy. As you can see, I have disabled write caching. Let's jump to iometer and set that up. I'm going to select the F drive. We're going to be writing to an area of 32 gigabytes with 64 outstanding. Let's configure access specifications. We want to do four kilobyte random writes. I'm going to start the IO now. Let's go back to Sensefini V Management Console. I will clear the display to get a nice average. As you can see, the data core performance counters I've added are there to match what we see in iometer. Total operations per second. On average, we're getting about 115. Let's record that value. Total IOs per second, 115. Let's go ahead and look at the bytes transfer rate. What we see here is on average, we're getting about half a megabyte per second. Let's record that. All right, let's take a look at the latency. Latency, on average, I'm getting 602 milliseconds. Next, I will go ahead and enable Random Write Accelerator on this virtual disk. All right, here it is. I'm going to right click and say Enable Sequential Storage. Let's go back to our performance view. As you can see, total IOPS has increased. Let's take a look at the bytes transfer. We're also seeing a great improvement. Let's take a look at the maximum time per operation. Our latency is reduced dramatically. So let's record these numbers. Again, I'm going to clear the display to get a nice average. So total IOS per second, we're getting about 19,000. So let's record that number. Let's take a look at the bytes transferred per second. We're getting about 73 megabytes per second. All right, let's take a look at our latency. On average, we're getting about 52 milliseconds. All right, based on these numbers, we're seeing an improvement in I.O. and IOPS 165 fold. In throughput, we're seeing an improvement of 146 times and a reduction latency 11 times. This concludes our demo for the Random Riot Accelerator. Thank you.